How do you like my futuristic cyberpunk sing-along soundtrack? It's very futuristic and cyberpunk, everybody, because of today we are going to be discussing UAPs and UFOs and shit. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that was a hefty gulp of water. Welcome everyone to the CM Kozman channel. If you are a returning viewer, hello again. If you are a first time visitor lured in by the UFO and UAP discussion, well, hello to you too, kind stranger. I hope you enjoy the discussion here. This is a channel that is founded upon eccentricity and if you enjoy the eccentric antics in this episode i would be happy if you could subscribe to my patreon or go to the merch store and put your money where your ears are so to speak the patreon page has a world of content art illustrations paintings that nobody else gets to see i know i know i don't like advertising and i don't like paywalls either but that's the state of the world for you and me. Anyways, on a more serious note, UFOs or UAPs have been on the forefront again at the date of recording, which is the 17th of December 2024. And in this day, people are all up in arms about the New Jersey drones. New Jersey drones. All sorts of weird drones are being reported from that area, that beautiful Sofranos extended universe state. Ranging from things that look indistinguishable from airplanes to globes of weird shifting protoplasmic light. I think the latter is just distant lights viewed through a shitty optical instrument, but that's not what I want to discuss right here. I want to go back to 2021 when UAPs were all the rage and people were talking about the famous Tic Tac UFOs that were reported by US Navy pilots flying over the sea and imaged very clearly far clearer than any image we have of the 2024 New Jersey drones by the way imaged very clearly showing a tic tac shaped object floating about at improbably high speeds you don't need me to retell you the whole story I think it's been covered ad nauseam but if you want a really nice introductory low down on these tic tac US Navy Super Hornet UFO encounters the best source you have is this one video from the Ward Carroll YouTube channel a hugely popular YouTube channel by the way certainly more popular than this quaint corner of the YouTubes but that's W A R D C A R R O L L Ward Carroll go subscribe to his channel it's an awesome channel about combat aviation and military stuff in general and also Mr. Carroll is a great storyteller and he platforms even greater storytellers so yeah so there Anyways, during this discussion of the UAPs, something that uh, Ward Carroll raises about this well-documented TikTok encounter is the fact that these encounters all took place in the vicinity of a Navy exercise area. So it wasn't just any place, it was a part of the ocean, I guess, that was reserved for the US Navy to hold exercises and even maybe test new platforms. And Ward Carroll goes through three probabilities for what these things might be. We're going to review them. And in fact, later on, I'm going to provide you my opinion on how these TikTok UFOs may actually be a United States secret weapon. And I will even explain you the, the workings, the mechanics and the theory of such an advanced technology 
Yes, I'm really not kidding. I think I may have figured out at least one way how something like this might be possible. So listen on. But back to Ward Carroll and his discussion of the Tic Tac UFOs. He says there are three probabilities from a kind of like military officer's standpoint. One, they are a secret technology fielded by the USA itself. Two, they are a secret technology fielded by a near peer power. That is to say, maybe they are Chinese or Russian UAPs. And the third possibility is, of course, aliens. But that's just like a wastebasket grab bag way of saying we don't know what the hell is going on in there. And Ward Carroll also dismisses the second possibility too. He says that if the Chinese or the Russians had such a platform or, or a device, and remember these Tic Tac UFOs, they were flying at speeds that would defy the laws of physics, making right turns in the air, suddenly disappearing, reappearing nearby, something quite out of the bounds of modern technology. You just cannot move a physical object in that manner. There would have to be, I don't know, a way to disable inertia, which, which is a hard-baked law of physics, and I don't think anybody could do that. But we'll get there, we'll get there. Ward Carroll states that if these were actually Chinese or Russians, the media would have a field day over it, the military industrial complex would drum this up, because if there's a threat, it means the need to respond to such a threat. And that, of course, in the military industrial complex of the United States means big money, big bucks and, well, lots of secret projects down the line. So if this was actually a foreign threat, they would actually not hide it. They would not pretend like it wasn't there, but they would say, oh my God, it's there and we gotta do something about it. So. That's not very likely either. Then Ward Carroll covers the first possibility. What if these Tic Tac UFOs were some sort of a US secret project or experimental aircraft? And he says this is very likely for a couple of reasons. Number one, as I just told you before, these sightings all took place in exercise areas. They did not randomly take place in the Himalayas or somewhere in backwater Italy or something. No, it was like a designated exercise area for the US Navy doing Top Gun shit. Number two, after these encounters, which by the way were very well documented, I mean there is imaging recordings of these Tic Tac UFOs, so I don't know what they are, but the airplanes really picked up something, it was recorded and then declassified and caused all the brouhaha, but the pilots really did see something. Now Ward Carroll says after they had this encounter, they flew back to their aircraft carrier and they gave a debrief during which the pilots were told to can it, all the instrumental recordings were confiscated and the whole incident was classified as top secret. Now in the past I suggested that maybe these Tic Tac apparitions could be an unknown atmospheric phenomenon, maybe something like ball lighting but far more complicated. The atmosphere is home to a great many phenomena that we just don't freaking understand. People pretend they do but they just don't. There's a whole variety of stuff out there. I mean there are these things called red sprites for example that look like red ghostly angels flashing in the uppermost layers of the atmosphere. You don't need to invoke aliens or interdimensional beings for any of these phenomena. The world is simply incredibly complicated and we only understand a mere facet of that complicated existence. That's all everybody. But now looking back, I am inclined to think that maybe this actually is some sort of an experimental United States secret weapon or secret project and maybe they really do have technology that can create these impossibly fast maneuverable objects. Now of course the ramblings of a random YouTube eccentric are not exactly conclusive or authoritative but I think I worked out the 
at least raw bones and the basics of this technology and here I am going to divulge it. Just for note, I am not suicidal and if anything happens to me, maybe it's because I leaned into something I shouldn't have leaned into. Well, here we go, let's lean. But before that, let's take another sip of coffee. Yeah. So, I don't think the US military has access to advanced dimensional technology or alien ships or something which can somehow negate physics, you know. And a lot of, let's say, beginner level thinkers make the same mistake saying that, oh, you know, we went from airplanes to landing on the moon in less than 80 years, so why not? You know, why shouldn't there be another leap in the development of technology? Now, if you ever hear arguments like this, you can pretty comfortably rest assured that they are false. Technology does not advance like the way it advances in a computer game. You don't just, you know, tech, 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 and suddenly, boom, you break the laws of physics. Both airplanes and moon landers operate within the realm of the laws of physics as we understand them. It doesn't matter if you work for a hundred more years, a thousand more years, or maybe a million more years, you're simply not gonna be able to change them. You can't Elon Musk your way out of this, you can't Iron Man your way out of this. But still, I believe there is a way the US Navy or whoever is operating this hypothetical conjectural experimental technology, there is a way that these people can actually achieve results, which give the effect of a target moving impossibly fast, maneuvering impossibly fast, disappearing and reappearing near the airplanes and stuff like that. It's actually not very complicated. I think they have some sort of hyper advanced spoofing device something like an electronic warfare kit or maybe a false target generator and i think i even figured out the principle at which it works essentially they have two or more searchlight like emitters of microwaves radio i don't know light whatever now they intersect these I'm gonna call them searchlights for posterity. They intersect these searchlights and upon their point of intersection, these emitters, once again, they could be microwaves, they could be radio, they could be some other form of radiation. Upon their intersection, these searchlights emit a heat signature or a radar signature. And when you break the intersection, it just disappears. It's like crossing two laser pointers together. You can really move incredibly fast you can generate these fake targets that maybe confuse incoming fighter planes i think it's a very legit theory on which to build a device to confuse the enemy with especially if the enemy has advanced flir i learned this term from ward carroll's youtube channel by the way flir that means forward looking infrared array cameras you know the cameras that advanced military aircraft use to detect heat signatures with i think if you have something like this i'm gonna just spitball here and predict maybe they are like two intersecting streams of coherent microwaves that heat the air wherever they intersect so such a device could really give the effect of an incredibly fast moving target to a fighter plane heck even the tic tac shape of this so-called ufo this so-called uap really looks like something that would form when two light streams intersect heck i'll take it one step further you know sometimes these so-called uap reports include enormous shapes or things that look like mile long tubes or incredibly big physics defying zeppelin sized objects in the sky they could actually be generated by some sort of once again i'm gonna say microwave but i don't know the exact workings of such technology heck maybe they're gamma ray beams or proton beams i don't know i mean in cancer medicine you have this thing called a gamma knife which is essentially a radioactive way to kill 
tumors without ever doing a surgery. They have a half globe of gamma ray emitters and they just focus them all to intersect in a certain patch of the patient's body and that area essentially gets cooked and killed without damaging the tissues around it. So maybe it's not microwaves but some sort of a radioactive source that's well incredibly high powered and it's focused that way. Who knows? Maybe it's some sort of extremely high powered laser intersecting with another laser to make a really hot laser -er laser. Ah anyways, you get the idea. Radio, microwave, radiation, lasers, something heating up a large patch of the air in a coherently focused way, you could get shapes like this and spoof the enemy. Maybe they are actually testing that device there with the Tic Tac encounters. And maybe that's why the pilot's images and accounts were classified because they're trying to fine tune this system. They don't want to get any big mile long artifacts or things that can you know skim along at like 10 times the speed of sound they want to use this intersecting beam system to perfectly mimic an aircraft that's not there and maybe these encounters were actually staged they were planned and they're trying to fine-tune the system anyways everybody that's my take on the US Navy TikTok UAP encounters. I hope you enjoyed this rambling podcast. Now I will touch upon the New Jersey drones in another two years maybe when the information <laughs> has coagulated. But what do you think? Uh, do you agree with me? Do you think these could have been some sort of experimental spoofing system developed by the US Navy or Air Force? Or maybe you think they're still aliens but once again there's something in philosophy called Occam's razor I just opened a box cutter to demonstrate that now Occam's razor says that out of two explanations to an unknown event the simpler one is usually the correct one was it aliens or was it man-made hmm if it's man-made did they really build a high science tech it out tech bro iron man freaking piece of shit ufo or is it some sort of an electronic warfare system remember at those speeds during those exercises all those airplanes essentially navigate using their instruments so maybe that was that anyways let me know what you think in the comments you know because if you can't donate at least leave a comment to get the algorithm ball rolling. And as always, I love you all. Goodbye and have a lovely day.